We're gonna get some grub. Get some grub, because we are hungry. <laughs> found this place that is uh, dog friendly and we're gonna as you know we have our we're a party of three we have uh, a, little a little munchkin so we're gonna go to this place we're gonna have breakfast and then go back to the hotel start picking up and start making our way back all he's been holding is pee the whole time he would not we have we have puppy pads and he would not use he's still going he pees longer than I do my god. All right, we're almost there. Okay. Gracias. Pay me enough to do that job. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. There's other things we gotta do to sneak in Ollie in the hotel. These are the benefits of having a small dog. You cannot do the things that we do with a big dog, that's for sure. The smaller, the better. And that's not what she said. <laughs> <laughs> to continue our journey to uh, Wisconsin. I do want to stop at Wrigley Field first though. Now we're just gonna pick up this mess. We gotta get all this picked up. These are the, the houses that have roofs. They have bleachers on top. It's crazy. Wrigley Field is the iconic home of the Chicago Cubs. Nestled in the heart of the Windy City, it's a place where history and baseball intertwine. Opened in 1914 as Weeman Park, it was renamed Wrigley Field in 1927 and has been the Cubs' home since 1916. Known as the Friendly Confines, it's the second oldest ballpark in the majors and the only remaining Federal League park. Its ivy-covered brick outfield wall, iconic red marquee, and hand-turned scoreboard are symbols of a bygone era. Located in the residential neighborhood of Wrigleyville, it's unique for its rooftop seats on nearby buildings, offering a one-of-a-kind viewing experience. With a seating capacity of over 41,000, Wrigley Field is more than just a ballpark. It's a testament to the love of baseball, a monument to the spirit of Chicago, 
and a living piece of American history. Even though the Cubbies didn't have a home game, the stadium is still open for public tours. Visitors can explore more of the park, such as the Cubs dugout and the outfield ivy. We didn't have much time for all that, so we just decided to enter the official Cubs merchandise store. Some areas of the stadium may be restricted on non-game days, and the availability of tours may vary depending on the day. Well guys, our 24 hours in Chicago just ended. Uh, and now we're heading to Wisconsin. Yeah. to Allenton, Allenton, uh, Wisconsin. We're putting some, uh, we're refueling. We're only about maybe 56, maybe an hour away from uh, Appleton, Wisconsin, which is where we're gonna be going to. Um, gonna let Ollie out. We're gonna use the restrooms real quick and, and start heading up. to the house uh, we're gonna go ahead and take a, take a look and see oh. hey get over here 